How's it going, folks? We're back again. I told you we would be. This is a McFarlane Gold Label Collection DC Multiverse Project Superman. This is Kal El. Uh, this is the Superman you know, but in a different, you know, iteration or a different storyline. Um, uh, from the Project Superman series, obviously. Uh, if you go read a few books, it's actually or several books. Um, it's a pretty cool character. It's a, a version of the a Superman a character. It's, it's a younger version. And um, I've seen people on like the Facebook groups and stuff be like, uh, oh, this is a you know, kind of scrawny, weak Superman, kind of lame, like trashing him. And I'm like, well, dude, like he was a kid before he was completely buff ass Superman. You know, he grew into that. He just isn't he just didn't pop out of the, you know, the space pod, you know, like just totally ripped. It's like, where the hell have you been? <laughs> it's like, <laughs> and uh, I just think you got to do, I don't know, do your due diligence and do a little bit of research. But uh, yeah, we're going to also get the arms for this um, Flashpoint Cyborg, which I think is going to be pretty cool, which goes with this figure. It really actually does. So um Waiting two more for two more figures, I believe. Uh, yeah, so there you go in the back. We already got Aquaman from Flashpoint. So, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, get this figure open and check him out. All right, folks, and here he is. And before we get into the figure itself, we'll go ahead and refer to the collectible trading cards. My buddy Overlord always says, the Project Superman Flashpoint. So, here we go. Let's go ahead and give a little reedy do on this. Um, real name Kal El. Subject one spent most of his life being experimented on, both physically and psychologically. But when he gets a chance to escape, he will take it if it means, or will he take it if it means destroying everything and everyone around him? A chance meeting with a young future reporter might hold the key to his decision, f frightened, scared, and out, of, out, and out in the world for the first time. Subject one must learn what it means to go out, to go from man to Superman. So yeah, it's pretty cool, man. It's a good story, dude. I suggest reading. I don't know. Uh, it, it makes sense for people to just rip on figures if they don't know shit about them, but I suggest just go to DC Infinite and read a few issues, and you might actually like this character after all, or this version of Superman. Which, if you're no, if you're following these figures, collecting them in the multiverse, it's kind of necessary to have them. So yeah, but yeah, he's got butterflies, waist twist, good diaphragm range. It does get cut up that little S logo, but that's not a big deal to me. Might be a big deal to you. I'm sorry that it is, but yeah, you'll get over it. Um, yeah, all the excellent articulation you can expect from a freaking McFarlane figure. And yeah, he looks cool, man. Head sculpt is amaze balls. I like that a lot. I like how they did the shading in the eyes. It's a little darker. And this looks like, I don't know, it's rad, man. You just got to read the story, though. It's pretty cool, which would be cool because we're going to get Flash. I mean, not Flash, but we're going to get, uh, well, we got already have some Flashpoint characters, like the reverse Flash and stuff like that. And we're getting this Cyborg. So, yeah, we've got some of that stuff already. But uh, Project Zero would be cool, too, so they could face off and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, it's a good buck, man. Yeah, is it plain? It is, but if you look, if you refer to the collectible trading card, it's very plain. He's actually a little bit more ripped than the comic book version. So there you go. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get them all posed up. Here we have him in a nice little punching pose without the stand. It's actually not that hard to get him to do that, man. And you can use the the tiptoe joint actually does come into play there. And I you know, gave him a little bit of shake on the table. But yeah, he actually stands pretty well like that. So it's really not bad. And he's not a heavy figure. So if you leave him in this like stance, he's not going to do the midnight flops or anything like that. And, uh, yeah, man, he's a cool figure, man. I really, really like him a lot. You can also get him into, like, a good flying stance, too, which is really cool. Yeah, it's cool, man. It's a good figure, man. I like him a lot. I, you know, I understand people trash on him if you never, like, you know, because to be honest with you, when I first saw him, I was like, wow, this guy, this is really not that. I'm gonna, I might pass on this figure. And then I was like, well, wait, did you get the cyborg arms and stuff to build that cyborg? And the torso is actually pretty damn cool, so we got to put that together. But, um... But then again, once I got the figure, I found him. I was like, I'm going to get him. I'm going to check him out. And um, and because I knew I was going to go ahead and read some of the comics after I got the figure. And once I read the comics, I was like, oh, this is cool, man. It's, it makes sense. It fits with the comic. The comic was good. I liked it a lot. If you like if you like Scott Snyder, you'll dig this. So, yeah, it's 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 a win-win. And uh, here's a look at the cyborg arms, which are actually really cool. Nicely freaking detailed. Really nice combo of, like, a... Uh, different shades on the plastic and stuff like that. 
It's pretty freaking cool. Got bicep right there. I don't know, it doesn't swivel right there in the middle of the gun blaster thing, but that's what we expected. Let's see. Yeah, double elbows right there. Swivel all that, ball joint, all that stuff. And uh, yeah, man, we gotta go ahead and uh, get it put on the torso. Let's do that real quick. Oh, there we go. Whew, man. This other one. Oh, there we go. Awesome, man. We're closer to getting that cyborg, man. He looks like he's going to be red. Can't wait to... Oop. These pauldrons do come off. So let's get those to go back in. Oh, I guess they just slot in on the back and on the front. Do that real quick. Get back on there. Yeah, that's cool, man. That's cool. That's going to be a badass cyborg, man. That's really cool. Anyways, um, yeah, that's it for this review. I know there's not much to them. It's pretty simple, but like I said before, story's actually really cool if you dip into it. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching on. Have a good one. All right, later.